Hi, I'm Christine Perez and I teach first grade. I have been at Alta Loma Christian School for 13 years now and I have been teaching first grade for seven years. I absolutely love my school and love all of my students that I get to teach each and every year. I have two kids that go here, my Nathan, which is in fourth grade, and my Sophia, she's in first grade this year. And they have been here since preschool. And let me tell you, it has been amazing to see their growth. And not only in my kids, but I get to see the growth in all of my students from the 13 years that I've been here. I've got to see my kids come back from when we have our softball games at school and I get to see my old students and now that they're in college. But to see them grow and to see them learn and to see how much they've succeeded in their life, it is amazing. There are so many fun things that I love teaching about first grade and I love that they are so eager to learn each and every day that they come in with in my classroom with a smile on their face and they want to hug me each morning and when something's hard for them or when they don't understand something, finally when that light bulb goes on and when they see that spark or they, I see that glow in their eyes that they, they finally got it, that's the most amazing feeling in, in first grade. I say that this school is my home. This is our motto. Our motto is, it's not a school you attend, it's a family that you belong to. And I truly believe that because I feel like I'm at home every day. My kids feel like they're at home every day. And that's how our students here at El Tolima Christian School feel. They feel like it's their home. And one of the fun projects that we're working on in February this month is our insects. And they get to choose their favorite insect and they get to write a report about it and get to create their insect out of a can. And then they get to come up and present their projects to, to me in class. And that is one of the best things because not only do they learn how to write a project, or write a report, but they also learn how to come up and speak in front of the class, in front of their peers. Even when they're nervous, even when they are feeling a little on edge, they are comfortable up in the class because we make this environment feel loving, inviting, and they're, they feel comfortable to talk about it. Um, that's my favorite. And then we also do our pumpkin project during fall and they get to do their first book report. And their first book report, they pick their favorite book and then they get to create their pumpkin out of their favorite character out of their book. So that's a really fun thing that we do in first grade. This year has been like no other year that we have experienced before during our pandemic. And it is amazing to see how well the kids have been going through our challenges with our kids being online and our kids being here um, with our new shields, our masks. The kids are so resilient and they're so willing to change on a drop of a dime. And it's amazing to see that the kids online, that they are still involved, that the parents, I, I wanna applaud the parents out there because they have been so helpful to our students. We have pulled through and have come over the top. Our Lord is the most amazing Lord and he gives us grace and he loves us no matter what we do. And during this pandemic, it has been exciting to see how much our team has stepped up, our school has stepped up, our students have stepped up. In my class, I move around and I get excited and I dance and I sing. And even if I'm not a good singer, even the kids online, they're dancing and they're smiling. And the best part is they still have a smile on their face, even if they're at home. And I'm so blessed that we get to experience this together at ALCS. So on my website, you can feel free to look around. I have tons of information on there. I have, if you wanna to get to know a little bit more about me, there's about me page. There is our student information where you're gonna find our newsletters, our service words, our spelling words, things that, that we are doing throughout the year. I cannot wait to meet you guys. I cannot wait for you to come in my class. I hope to see you at open house. I hope to see you pop in. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is on my website. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.